What's up friends, it's Mike again. Glad to have you guys back to yet another review where I find awesome things to simplify your life. Today we have the Jabra Elite 85H. It is a noise canceling headphones right in direct competition with my other Sony and Bose headphones. And today we're just gonna do a quick overview and unboxing to see what it is and mostly go into the hardware and the first impressions of how I feel about this. And then we're gonna go through all the features to see if this is something that you'll be interested in because I'll be making an in-depth review of these headphones later on and a comparison video to see which noise cancelling headphone is in fact the right one for you. If you have any questions at all please comment below and ask them there so that I can add them into the review video to answer your questions. And without further ado I'm really excited so let's just unbox this. Oh boy, here's the Jabra Elite 85H. I personally paid $399 plus tax for this, so <laughs> this better be good. On first look, it looks pretty solid. Um, you do have the fabric neck band on top and on the sides of the headphones, which is interesting because the Sony and the Bose use plastic and aluminum. This is very unique, I guess, and very hipster. This does come in three other colors, black, this yellowy color, and blue. This is titanium black, which I think is the best looking one because of these grayish charcoal silver accents over here, which is good. But if you're a matte black kind of guy, you wanna choose a black one. So most of this is made of plastic. There's no metal on it at all from what I see. The headband here is fluffy, but um, you can feel there's this heart piece. In the in-depth review, I'll tell you guys how the comfort is. But overall, it seems pretty solid and uh, whoa. This thing can bend. Uh, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but over here it stretches out so you can adjust the headband over here. So this part just extends outwards. It looks pretty good, it doesn't look weird. And the ear cups themselves are very fluffy. They remind me of the Sony's right here. Dang, they're pretty much the same thing. Did they just rip this off the Sony? Anyways, we'll see how comfortable it is. And on the outside, you'll see that you have buttons on the right ear cup only on the outer pad. Ooh, there are hardware buttons, very clicky and not touch controls. So that's really good. Uh, I guess you have the volume up button, the middle button over here, and you have the volume down button. And on the bottom of the earphone, you'll see that you have a um, headphone jack and USB Type-C. That's always good in 2019. And by the way, Jabra is saying the battery life can last 36 hours on active noise canceling and 41 hours without active noise canceling. And if you charge it for 15 minutes, it can give you five hours of battery. So that's pretty cool. And then you'll find the microphone button over here. That's for your voice assistant. Assistant. And then on the left ear cup, there's nothing, no buttons or anything except for one which controls the hear through and the noise cancelling. Anywho, I'm sure you guys are interested in how this looks on you, so uh, here it goes. So uh, seeing over here, it's uh, it's I think it's quite it's bulkier than my Bose, but I think my Sony still might be a bit bigger. So it's quite comfortable. The earmuffs are uh, made of this pleather material. So over time, I'm gonna have to see if they heat up a lot or not, but it's quite good. Anyways, spec sheet time. So some reasons that you might be interested in these is because, uh, wait, let me turn on here through. Testing, whoa. Whoa, this is interesting. So with this here through, there is a slight hissing sound, like this white noise sound, and that's because I think it does amplify my sound, but I can also hear my own voice very clearly, so that's good, and it's gonna work a lot better when I'm talking to the camera, because usually when you wear earmuffs, it kind of blocks out your own sound, so you speak even louder like this, but with this, I know how loud I am, so that's always good when talking to the camera or to people in person, so. But anyways, some reasons that you might want to buy this headphone is that it can connect to multiple devices at once, paired to two simultaneously, and that's true in the 65Ts as well. So I'm very excited to test that out. And it has this smart sound feature where it detects your environment and see what environment you're in so that it turns on your noise canceling or turns off your noise canceling and turns on your hear through. Uh, so uh, that's gonna be interesting to test out as well. And then of course it has noise canceling and we're gonna put them against each other to see which one has the best noise canceling feature or most powerful noise canceling I should say. And then you have your smart assistant where you can just use your voice and not click any buttons or anything. I think that only works with Alexa though. But if you press the button on the right ear cup, you'll definitely be able to activate your Siri or your Google Assistant. Well, my iPad just uh, went Siri on me. Anyways, 
The headphones itself has eight microphones in it, so the call quality is something that Jabra boasts on, but I will put that to the test with my fan and the uh, simulated environment, which I always do in my reviews later on. And the last thing here is that it's very water resistant. On the box, it actually says that and guarantees a rain resistant durability with a two year warranty. So uh, they put that on the box. Uh, we're gonna put that to the test later on as well. So it's very exciting. So I really think this is meant for the commuter, people who always bus around or walk on the streets or even people working at coffee shops and all that. And it's something that's meant for you to wear all day while you're out and wanna be isolated. So it's gonna be very interesting testing out all these little features. And uh, But one thing we can test right now is the sound. Whoa. Huh, interesting. Let's play another song. Hmm. So the sound on this is pretty good, except for the bass. The bass is like big, but at higher volumes, it does like get this really like nasty bass sound. There's definitely a big sound stage on this. You can hear some music separation. Overall, I think it has more dynamics than my Bose for sure, but not as much as the Sony. The highs are really nice and really clear, but the bass just gets a bit uh, distorted. I'm not sure why that is for now. I'm definitely gonna have to play with the equalizer more to uh, make sure it's not a crappy bass. So uh, that's something I have to test more. But uh, I mean, this is just a quick test. So again, if you have any questions at all, please comment below and let me know what you want to know so that I can put it in the in-depth review and answer those questions for you. So I hope you guys uh, like this video. It's a bit different. It's definitely less detailed than uh, the reviews I usually do. And this might be something that we do more in the future just so we can unbox things together and get them out on the first day so that it's just on your radar, you know? So I'm not as good as unbox therapy or anything. This is gonna progress and um, improve in the future, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like like and subscribe if you haven't yet and if you have thank you uh, we'll see you in the next video very soon bye